Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's another Christmas recipe episode for all of you. And today is extra special because I have with me my favorite person in the world. Hi! Oh, she knows it's her! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my beautiful youngest baby girl. Erich, say hello. hello. Today is another recipe because this time what I'm sharing with all of you is a family dessert recipe para sa noche buena. We will call it Marjorie's bread pudding, very easy bread pudding, and buko salad. Christmas buko salad, okay? Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready for our kitchen showdown? Woohoo! Are you ready? <laughs> For my first recipe, we're doing bread pudding. Very, very easy recipe. This is also a family recipe. I think my mom was the one who taught us this recipe. And all of us, we know how to make this, but my version is the best. Okay, so of course we need bread. Shape kahit day old bread. Better nga. The older the bread, the better. But it's up to you. But bread. Okay, so I'm going to explain this. One recipe is one pan, okay? So I have two because Erich is gonna make her own version. So for one pan, you're going to need one can of condensed milk, okay? And then one melted butter, yung half, alam niyo yung one bar of butter, pero yung nabibili mo, yung kalahati lang, yung half a stick of the bar, yun yun. Imemelt natin yun. And then we need pasas. Raisins, nako, yan ang paborito kong part ng bread pudding. And one egg yolk. One egg yolk per pan. Only one. Only one. And we're going to need water, and I'm going to explain to you why we need water. Okay, let's begin. Erich, whatever I do, follow. Okay, so we're going to use the pan, and we're going to break bread into pieces. Break it on the pan. This is our favorite part. Yeah, I remember doing this. Yes, when Erich was young, this is what she does to help me for Noche Buena. I make several pans of this because mga pamilya ko pag umuwi, nagbabaon ng kanya-kanyang pan ng bread pudding. This gets better and better as the days go by. Just keep it in your ref. Ako naman, I'll slice it up the following day after Christmas. Microwave just a little bit. And then I eat it with excellent ham, my Russian potato salad, and queso de bola. Oh my goodness, Pasco na talaga. Are you good? So Eric, while we're tearing up the pieces of the bread, tell me what is your favorite a thing about Christmas? To be honest, the, the presents and God. Presents? As in gifts? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you love that about Christmas? Okay, you're a kid, of course. And what about God? Of course. It's his birthday. It's the birthday of Jesus. Yes. So that's what you like about Christmas, right? Yes. Wow. You're a good girl. Mm -hmm. Do you have a wish list for your Christmas now? Mm -hmm. Do you know what you want? Yeah. Really? Um, what I do for the kids or what I do with the kids is we have a Christmas wish list. Okay, so they will fill up 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 yung mga possible gifts that they'd want to receive for Christmas. And then, pipili na lang kami doon what to give each other so that we're sure that what we're giving each other is something that they like. Right? My idea here is to fill up the pan. Okay, alam mo na, magkakaroon ka na ng bread pudding pag nabuo mo na yung pan. Are you eating the bread? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Ganto lang ka simple to. Maraming klase ng bread pudding. I know that when we eat in hotel buffets, they always have their versions of bread pudding. Ito na yata ang pinakasimple. Okay, but this one is TDF. What does TDF mean? Babe, what does TDF mean? <laughs> to die for! <laughs> Pag na-fill up na natin, we're going to put it in the 
bowl. Ang basis natin on how much bread we're going to use is the pan. Fill it up na punong puno. Okay, now, one can onto the mixing bowl. We're going to use the same can and pour water on it para madilute natin yung tamis. Okay? There. Follow. There you go. So, one can of condensed. Wait, baby girl, we're gonna mix it so we can dilute what is, whatever is left inside. Use this. Okay, it's good. Alright. Okay, now, then you pour it again all over. Okay, this again, we only make during the Christmas season. And my kids, nako, may mga Sunday talaga na, Mom, we miss your bread pudding. Pero talagang tinitiis ko sila. Kailangan talaga maghintay sila ng Pasko para they remember Christmas in that way, right? Another simple is the egg. Don't touch the egg first, babe. Slightly beaten egg only. Don't make it scrambled eggs. This is slightly beaten. That's it. Then we're gonna mix the bowl, okay? Mix. Oh my goodness. So far, we have the bread. We have one slightly beaten egg, one can of condensed milk, and one can of water, okay? And we're not done with the goodness because half a bar of butter for one pan. Okay, we're gonna pour it slowly, baby. Slow. There. Grabe. All the goodness. Can you imagine the smell of melted butter, bread, condensed milk, and egg yolk? Mmm, yeah, yeah. You know when you bake this in your house, it really does smell like pudding. There you go. All right. Because bread pudding is not the same without raisins. Okay, not for everybody. Some of my kids don't like pasas. So we have pans that don't have pasas, but believe me, it changes everything. Okay, that's enough, darling. That's it. Oh my goodness. Kadun lang kadali yun. Diba? You have Christmas bread pudding. Ito ang pinakamasarap. Kasama ng ating queso de bola. We're good. Okay, now I'm going to put it na in the pan. Yeah. Okay, sorry. You know what STEM means, Mom? Yummy goodness. You know what STEM means? Okay, so lahat kami, alam namin ganito yung steps and the ingredients. Pero talaga, pag ako gumagawa, mas masarap. Okay, I'm gonna put more pasas on top. And the oven is already being preheated. 10 minutes. And then we're going to put it in the oven for like... 25, 30 minutes to be sure. Kasi masarap yung brown yung loob. Pero wag niyong susunugin ha. Kasi masarap talaga yung medyo sunog yung labas or crunchy yung outside. But inside, it's very soft and very moist. And that's the good part. You don't need help. I know you can do it. But you want me to help? No. No? I don't need help. You don't need help. You're very, very independent. So for the temperature, we put it at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Now, para malaman nyo, kukuha kayo ng toothpick, you will make tusok-tusok. Pag lumabas siya, na medyo konti na lang yung sumasabay sa toothpick, okay na siya. Pero ako gusto ko siya talaga moist inside. Alright, look! Bread pudding! Okay, let's put it in the oven. I'm scared, I'm scared, Mama na. 250 degrees. Fahrenheit for 30 minutes or more. While it's in the oven for 30 minutes to 40 minutes, depending on how you want it done, we're going to do our buko sana. Okay? okay? Let's do it! So while we're waiting for the bread pudding, while we're baking it, we can use the time while waiting to make another dessert which is very common to all homes. Pagka Pasko at Noche Buena, ang ating buko salad. Okay, so for some homes, it's fruit salad. For some, it's buko na may halong fruit salad. Pero sa household namin, or sa family ko, it is buko salad with very, very colorful kaong. Simpleng simple lang. This is our ingredients. Nacho Buena is when you celebrate on the 24th, right before 12 midnight, right before opening the gifts. Okay, what are the ingredients to this recipe? Buko na kinayod. 
Tama? Shredded. Shredded buko. Okay? Pero siyempre, pagka noche buena, siguro, my gosh, 20 bukos kailangan natin. Super. Kasi pwede mo yan itago, eh, di ba? Parang ice cream. And then to make it really Christmas color, we use green kaong, red kaong, and nata de coco. Napakasarap niyan pag nakagat mo na siya. Itong kaong, hindi lang siya colorful. Napakasarap niya. Pag kinagat mo, napakasarap. Right? And then we add pineapple bits. And I use a little bit of the syrup from the can sa aking mixture. Siyempre, meron tayong all-purpose cream. One. And then one condensed milk. Just for this recipe. Okay? Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. What do I want for Christmas? No. Wait, you asked me what I like for Christmas. Yeah, what do you want for Christmas? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. What I want for Christmas is a new oven. Yes, a new oven with real numbers because right now my oven is so old, Erich. I can't tell our viewers exactly what, how many degrees because the numbers are like not there anymore. Fans, you mean viewers. I like, but you know who's going to give me? Julia. Yeah, she told me she's going to give me an oven. Actually, I chose it. Okay, so next time I vlog, after Christmas episode, my bago na akong oven with numbers. <laughs> Okay, so for the buko, syempre, maglalagay tayo ng condensada. Ooh, la la. Condensed milk is condensada in Tagalog, darling. There you go. Ang sarap sarap. Okay, I'm going to put some of the Nestle cream. I'm not sure if I want to put all. I'll check first. Bago ko ubusin. Okay, what do you want for Christmas? A new camera. Camera? Just for me, just kid. I'm going to mix it first because I, I, I want to make sure that it's not masyadong matubig. Tamang-tama lang dapat, okay? Ganito pa lang, masarap na yung amoy niya. Talaga, masarap ang buko. Grabe. Okay. I'm going to put red kaong. You're going to see the magic. You mean You're going green? to see colors. I want them to see how fun it is. Look at that. Red, green, and nako. Alam ko, lahat kayo gusto nyo nata de coco. Who doesn't like nata de coco na ko naman? Pineapple bits. Oh, sarap, sarap, sarap. Sana naman, maging masarap to. Look, I'm going to mix this. And because of the red kaong, magiging pink na naman to. A little bit of the pineapple juice. The syrup from the tidbits. I'm not gonna overdo it because I want to try it first. Ang sarap nito, if freezer natin to. Ito na yung ating buko salad that we are going to put in the freezer. All right, we're good. This is the my Eat mom's buko salad. Yeah, I'm going to try it to make sure na enough na. Mmm, napakasarap. I'm done. That's how simple. Of course, everybody knows it's simple. Pero importante na andito yung colors of Christmas. This is our Christmas buko salad see that. Very simple. Um, for other recipes, marami pa siya nilalagay, di ba? May queso, may apples, everything. This one's very simple, but Merry Christmas! Okay, so eto na ang aking bread pudding. This is the first time I'm going to try this for the year. Yan! Pang Christmas lang kasi to eh. Okay. Hindi ko na alam ko alin yung ka erich dito. Okay, okay, there. There you go. Hmm? Can you see? You see the smoke? Yan, mainit na mainit pa. Sana kayanin ko to. So, this is my bread pudding. Best eaten with queso de bola on the side. And kung swerte swerte ka, may kasamang hamon. Perfect. Let's try. Let's try, let's try. Mmm. Ma in it. Mmm. <laughs> Lada naman ako na excited sa Pasko. For today, I was able to do our buka salad and our bread pudding recipe. And ramdam na ramdam ko na talaga ang Pasko. So thank you very much for joining me once again. In my next episode, I will be sharing with you our main dish. 
sa Noche Buena. So, maraming salamat. Merry Christmas, everybody! Bye! Back to my pudding. Nako, namimiss ko na ang keso de bola. Dapat sinabay ko. Mmm!